Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 16th of 2020, well, it is titled Comet Atlas Breaks Up. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image showing uh, Comet Atlas uh, towards the right-hand side there. And you can see the greenish glow, which is often associated with a with comet, and is caused by emission from carbon atoms. So we often look at hydrogen atoms in star-forming regions that will glow red, while carbon atoms, when excited, will glow green. So we can see that distinct green glow often associated with a comet. And we can see the tail of the comet stretching back towards the left-hand side of the image. And we also see a number of star trails. Now, stars in the comet do not move at the same rates. The stars all move essentially the same, and that's why the star patterns remain the same from year to year and decade to decade and century to century. However, the comet will move among the stars. So if we track the comet and are following that for our image, then the stars are going to appear to move. And we see some of the star trails there, uh, paths taken by the stars, which occur because of the rotation of the Earth. The Earth rotating from west to east will cause the stars and every other object in the sky to appear to rise in the east and set in the west. Now, when we look closer at the comet, what has been noted is that Comet Atlas is breaking up. Comets are made of a very uh, of icy material, uh, kind of like a dirty snowball is sometimes called, and that is uh, basically a very lightly packed snow with uh, dusty particles mixed in. So what happens when we when that gets close to the sun sometimes is that the energy from the sun will cause it to fragment. So it'll cause different parts of it to vaporize. And that can give us a beautiful show in terms of creating great a large coma around the head of the comet and great tails stretching back. But enough energy can actually destroy the comet. And that seems to be what is the case with Comet Atlas. Comet Atlas is breaking up and towards the uh, right-hand side, you can see multiple nuclei there. So instead of just one nucleus of the comet, it is breaking up into parts. And as the quicker it breaks up, the faster it breaks apart and the fainter it will then become. So a while ago, we had thought perhaps Comet Atlas would be a nice sight in the uh, sky for those in the northern hemisphere as a chance to see a bright comet, something we haven't had for really over a decade for those in the northern hemisphere. But in this case, it actually looks like Comet Atlas is going to break itself apart and disperse uh, its particles out into space. Now, what will happen to those particles? Well, they actually continue to orbit the sun just as the comet did. So they will continue to orbit around the sun for um, thousands, of, thousands and thousands of years. We are actually get to see some of these fragments of various comets when they do when that comet's orbit happens to intersect the Earth. So when we pass through those, we get to see some of those little bits of left behind of ancient comets what what we see as meteors or shooting stars are often just little bits of a comet and little bits of comets that have broken apart and still continue to orbit the sun exactly as the original comet did. And the only reason we see them is when our orbit happens to intersect theirs, they hit our atmosphere and will vaporize. And that is that glow that we see as a shooting star or a meteor. So that was our picture of the day for April the 16th of 2020. It was titled Comet Atlas Breaks Up. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the Star Mill. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.